All right, so you will, right here on the sheet, write down what kind of organism you are. Okay. And then for type of consumer, you guys are all going to figure that out right now. Okay. So if it says that you eat green sticks from green beakers, okay, green, from green beakers, you are a primary consumer. So take a look and see what it says. If it says you go from green only, you are a primary consumer. Okay. If, Brian, yours says it's blue. You are a secondary consumer. Okay? If it says you eat blue and red, you are a tertiary, this marker is terrible, consumer. Hold on, let me get that. Tertiary. And Josie, what does yours say? <laughs> well, what, what color does it say? Red. Only red. If you eat only red, you are a quaternary consumer. Okay? So go ahead and write down what you are, what type of consumer. Adolfo, what do you eat? Blue, red, green? Yeah, so what, what, what color do you eat? Blue. Blue and red. Blue and red? If you are blue and red, you're going to be a tertiary. You eat blue and red also? No, I eat green. Green. So you are a primary consumer. You eat green. You eat green. Um, if you're at home watching this, you are a secondary consumer. Okay, now, <laughs> it tells you what you eat. Okay? In the back, I have some beakers. I have green beakers, red, but they're really pink and then blue, okay? Malika, what do you eat? What kind of colors? Blue. Blue. So Malika's gonna come over to blue over there. She's gonna pick up 10 from blue. You eat red, right? You're gonna pick up 10 from red. Is there anyone that has both blue and red? You're gonna get five from red, five from blue, okay? Go ahead and get what you get, bring them back to your seats, and you're probably gonna want a phone for this. Okay, so you guys at home, if you are going to be a secondary consumer, you're going to get five from blue and five from red. And what they're doing here in class is they are writing down how much toxin they're actually eating. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how this works. Blue. Okay, hold on. Give me one second. Let me grab the... Things here. Okay, so you guys at home, what I want you to do is for the food sticks, you are going to write down these toxin levels. This is what people are picking up in class. Okay, those were your blue ones. And then for your green ones, I mean your red ones. Oh no, you're only blue, I'm sorry. So you're going to be like this. 1.2, 1.3. 1.4, 1.5. All right. So now you are going to write them in uh, over here. On this side. Yeah. You're going to be writing them in to the toxin levels on your sheet. So you see where table one is? Okay. So let me show you how to do this. Jeremy, go ahead and look at your card over there and see what color you eat. So, Yulia, you had red and blue, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're gonna start writing those in into table one. So, your first one is, what does that say? 10.5, so go ahead and write it like that, and then keep going, write them in to your table, write them into table one. Okay, so you're gonna literally write those into table one. Right here. So write these numbers in random. Random order, because you're just going to add them up at the end. Okay. Okay. So you're going to take these. 
and write these numbers into each box, okay, in any order. So one, three. Uh-huh. Okay. Yep, keep going all the way down until you get them all. All right, so Jeremy, what does it say you eat? So what are you, first of all? I'm a you whelk. are a whelk. Do you know what that is? It? A whale? Let's look it up. You are a whelk. So like some type of I think it, I think it's a, like a snail. I think it's an SCP. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh that's you. <laughs> just for, for time, just for today. You eat green beakers, so you're going to get 10 little cards from the green beakers and bring them back over here. Okay. Okay. Does it matter? Does it matter like any? Anytime. Good, good, good. Perfect. Did you even add them up? Yeah. Awesome. All right. Now, once you have them all in your chart, use your phone or a calculator and add them all up. Mm -hmm. Wait. So write in. Oh, you, you added them already. Yes. Okay. We'll just write that as your total. 12.2. Because what I wanted to do here is write each one in and then add them up at the bottom. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> no Jose today. Had him one day. Okay, so once you have them all into your chart, make sure you add them all up. So for you guys at home, go ahead and add them up and put them right there into the total toxin level. And now we are going to get the whole group's data. So, Brian, you are done, right? Okay. What kind of consumer were you, Brian? Secondary consumer. Okay, so he ate blue. What was your total toxin level? 12.2. So, Ms. Fine's going to write it into the chart. You guys go ahead and write it into the chart as well. Um, can you unzoom just a little bit, Ms. Fine, so they can see? Yeah. So you're going to do it in the secondary column. Everybody write in what, what Brian's data was. We're going to take the whole class's data. Edgar, you are done, right? What kind of consumer were you? Primary. Primary, and what was your total? 30. Can I, can I tell you one? 30? 0.3, right? 0.30? Okay. Yeah. Good. So that one right there, primary, 0 0.30. Everybody write that in. Adolfo, what kind of a consumer were you? Tertiary, very good. 57.0? Okay, 57.0 for tertiary. <clears throat> yep, write this down. All right, Abel, did you get finished? Yeah. What kind of consumer were you? Primary, how much was your total? 0.28. 0.28. Reyna, did you get finished? No. no. Liz, did you get finished? Not yet. Uh, you're still working. Yulia, did you get finished? Mm -hmm. What kind of consumer were you, Yulia? Tertiary. Tertiary, good. What was your total toxin level? 69.6. Uh, 69.6, perfect. Oh, I had a quick one. Okay. <clears throat> Brian, you already gave me your data. Kimberly, did you get finished? Yes, what kind of consumer are you? Tertiary, Tertiary also. What was your total? 58.2, good. Josie, our quaternary consumer, what was your total? Um, 93. 93. Josie was a great white shark. And she ended up with 93 levels of chemical. Malika, did you get finished? Yeah. Yes, what kind of consumer were you? Uh, secondary. Secondary consumer? 13.1. Uh, 13.1. Jeremy, are you done or are you still working? Okay. Uh, anyone else? Who did I miss? Raina and Liz. Raina, you get done? Yeah. What kind of consumer are you? Primary. Primary? And your total is? 0 0.27. 0 0.27. Are you still working back here? I understand because I have 21, 22. Yeah. Like, how old is it? Uh huh. Uh -huh. You got it. Uh -huh. Liz, did you get finished? 
Yeah. yeah. What was your? You were a primary. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What's your total? Zero point twenty nine. Zero point twenty nine for a primary. And you got eighteen point two for a secondary. Uh, so zero point twenty nine for a primary. Eighteen point two for a secondary. And he's done. Okay, and Jeremy was a primary, 0 0.30. Someone had more than me, that's not fair. Yes. Yes. Okay, and then there's one more, the people at home. Uh, secondary, 16.3. All right. There was one more for primary. One more for primary? 0.31. Okay. All right. So now what we're going to do is we are going to add them up and figure out what our average is. Do you guys remember how to calculate an average? I don't Add them up. So add them divide by three. Usually we divide by three. That's right. But in this case, we have more than three. So when you have more than three, you divide by how many you have. So for the first column, how many are we going to divide by? More than four. Five. More than five. Look at how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. So do this on your calculator right now. Add them up. Press equals. Make sure you press equals. Hey, guys, why don't you go back to your seats? You're not focusing back here. Are you focusing? Okay. All right. All right. Good, good, good. Oh, my God. What's a haircut? I have Edgar give you guys a haircut. He's the only one that has a good haircut. Just, just kidding. I like you guys here. <laughs> you guys have the exact same hair. All right, so um, the first one, make sure you press, you add them up, press equals, divide by six. I got that. Yeah. yeah. Compared to Yulia, did you guys get the same? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I don't know if you guys know this, but Ms. Fine is actually a real life scientist. I'm a wannabe scientist. Yeah, she's a scientist. Um, she works at Abbott Laboratories. And when you are doing calculations like this and you get numbers like what Yulia got, 0 0.29166667, you got the same thing, right, Josie? You only want to put the numbers that are important. And in this case, it's the same number that you had above. Two places after the decimal. So you would want to round it to two places after the decimal. So your total here is going to be 0 0.29. <clears throat> All right, Jeremy, let's move over here so you can focus. Focus, focus, focus. I'm already done. I'm already done. No, you're not. You don't have any of this? Yeah. You don't have any of this? Do we need to highlight? No. She's just highlighting it so you know what to do. All right, the next one. How many are we going to be dividing by in the next one? Four. Four. Add them up. Press equals. Divide by four. Thank you for putting this back. 14.9. Julio's concurring, okay. So in this case, we're just going to go to one place, 14.9. Do the next one. This time we're dividing by three because we only have three. Point, six. 61.6. 61.6. 61, 60, what'd you get? 15. For this one? Yeah. Or for this one? 61.6. Yeah, that was 15.0. 15.0. All right, and the last one, because it was just our lonely great white shark, Josie's pet, great white shark, we only had one. So the average of one number is that same number. So you're just going to have that as 93. All right. Now here's your job. 
as a scientist, once you collect all this data, a lot of people are going to want to know your results. They're going to be like, what did you find out? What did you find out? What did you find out? But if you just start yelling numbers to them, 93, 14.9, they're going to be like, what? What are you talking about? It's not going to make any sense. Most people aren't as quite you know, amazing scientists as you are. And they need more information and they need pictures. And that's why we make graphs. So we can look at something from a picture standpoint. And even at my job, when I was working with other scientists, if someone else wanted to understand our data, they weren't familiar with what kind of numbers you were talking about. They wanted to see the trends, the patterns. And so when you have a graph, you can see those patterns and trends really clearly versus just some numbers that might not make sense. Yeah. So it's really important to communicate this with a graph. So if you look at the next page down below, or for you guys, turn it over, there is a little graph that you guys can create, okay? In this case, we are comparing. So when we are comparing, do you guys remember, was it a line graph or a bar graph? Try again. <laughs> Bar graph, yeah. Whenever you're comparing, it's always going to be a bar graph. So look at your data. Notice they also have producer data here, which the producer data is given to you on the other side. You are going to make a bar for each of these data sets. The average only. Average is the most important. And then, like a true scientist, you would analyze the data. Now, the analyzation of the data here is kind of easy. It's just a few questions. Title. And the title. So you guys are welcome to work together with someone on this if you would like, if you want to work with a friend. If you just want to sit in your desk, that's fine too. Um, but I want you to finish the back side of this, okay? The back side of this is going to have your graph. For you guys at home, it's this part right here. Answer the questions. You guys at home are going to submit it. You guys here in class, you're just going to give it to me. I'm going back to my CC. Now, after that is done, once you give it to me, there's a practice quiz on Schoology. I might have a little bit more time than that, okay? So go for it. You have some time now to work. Go, go, go. You guys at home, if you have any questions, email me. Hey.